five. Let's learn about activation energy. What is activation energy? Activation energy in chemistry is the energy that must be available or provided to a chemical system so that the reactants will result to a chemical reaction. In other words, we can think about activation energy as the energy that you need for a chemical reaction to take place. Activation energy is also like a barrier that you need to overcome so that you can give the right energy for a chemical reaction to happen. This is denoted with a symbol E sub A. So when you see this symbol, it means activation energy and its usual unit is kilojoules per mole. Think about activation energy using this example of your Bunsen burner. The moment you want to generate the flame of the Bunsen burner, of course, you turn it on so that the fuel will go to the barrel and then you light the match and you, when you put it in the barrel of your Bunsen burner, the moment the lighted match mixes with your fuel, you'll create the flame. That lighted match provide the activation energy that will make combustion reaction to be possible. The moment that energy is enough, then you'll see combustion reaction taking place when you see the flame glowing in the Bunsen burner. So how is EA represented? It's represented through an energy diagram. In an energy diagram, you see X to be the reaction progress, which is the unit time. So as you move from left to right, you see that the reaction is taking place over time. While the Y axis is your potential energy. Your potential energy as you go from top from bottom to top, the energy increases. So when you see the curve within the graph, you always begin with the initial energy of your reactants, and then you move up until you reach a maximum energy requirement. And the moment this is reached by your substances, we call this the activated complex. The activated complex is when your reactants start to form the products of the reaction. Once activated complex is reached, the chemical reaction is taking place. And of course, the moment it lowers down, then you get your product's final energy. The difference between the initial energy of the reactants to where the maximum energy is, we call that your activation energy, EA. So let's further analyze some energy diagrams of the two basic reactions exothermic and endothermic reactions. Let's have the first one. The first one is endothermic. This is your energy absorbing reaction. In an endothermic process, you have your reactants initial energy here, and then it goes up to your activated complex. And then the final energy is higher. The final energy of the products is higher than your reactants. So your delta H, in which delta H actually is defined as enthalpy. Delta means change. So delta H is change in enthalpy. And when we talk about enthalpy, define it as the total amount of your heat content in the system. In other words, enthalpy is the sum of the internal energy of your chemical system, plus also the other thermodynamic factors the products of your the product of your pressure and volume in this case if the delta h is positive because the final is higher than the initial then you see an endothermic process because endo absorbs energy that means your final energy has to be higher than your initial energy on the other hand if we talk about exothermic process exothermic process, the reactant's initial energy is higher than your product's final energy. Delta H, or the change in energy, therefore, is products minus reactants, and because product is lower, delta H becomes negative. Because exothermic releases energy, therefore, you would expect the difference to be negative. So if it's negative, it should be an energy releasing reaction, which we call exothermic reaction. And so that's the overview about, um, about activation energy 
and the difference of this activation energy to exothermic and endothermic reactions. Stay tuned for the next video in which we will be learning about the effect of catalyst to the activation energy of your chemical system. So this is it. This is Madam Narka saying don't stop learning, relearning and unlearning. If you like this video or if it's helping you, please don't forget to click like. You can share it and subscribe to Narcademy and follow Narcademy in Instagram. Thank you so much. Bye for now.